morning YouTube got my coffee nice early in the morning do a lot of my vids in my man cave family's asleep nice quiet fit I hope well anyway I did a little <coughs> video on my TRL3 which is a great hangout light relatively inexpensive durable works great handgun light there's other there's a lot of great handgun lights TRL1 blah 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 but when shooting with a handgun light you really have to have proper technique you really have to have a nice firm good grip and you should have that always but if you limp wrist or do anything have a weak grip or weak angles in your, your handgun grip you can cause a malfunction now most malfunctions caused with a handgun light are from improper grip because you do get a slight flex in the frame and if you don't have a good grip on this it can cause a malfunction so I'm gonna pop in uh, a video of me shooting at the range and uh, just to show you how it looks with a handgun light on on uh, at the range I go to and um, you can actually see the beam light because it's always so dark at that range it's kind of funny down there it's a it's in the basement of a mini mall. It's funny, this range I always go to. That you see my videos in. But anyway, handgun lights. Remember, guys, proper technique should always be your number one priority. But if you don't have it, the slightest thing can cause a malfunction with a handgun light. All right? So I never had it happen to me, but I heard people say it, you know, especially with some larger guns like a 17 or such with your polymer frames that is okay mostly with polymer frames so Glocks, MRPs, XDs mostly the striker fire type of pistols if you don't have a good grip and you have a malfunction with a light on it it could be that so Richie Butcher Brothers, has let me pop in the video and uh, you'll see how this light shines a nice beam Take care, guys. Richie, bullets of broadheads. Got my bedside gun here. Now, you've seen the video I did on the TRL-3. I love this light. I had this light for years, and it gave me no problems. But I haven't really showed you any videos of shooting me with, shooting with it. So I'm going to shoot it today. This is my Glock 19. This is my bedside gun. TRL-3. Now, some polymer guns can malfunction. I've heard of it, you know. Because there's a flex in the frame, so always, before you depend your life on it, test fire a gun. I have with this gun, but I'm just going to show you guys. No problem. Let's do some headshots. TRL three. Actually, in here, it's really helpful. It's so freaking dark in here all the time. So that's my, uh, my groupings right there. Been shooting with the light, just testing it out. I'm going to shut it off as the continuous on. But also, you can do momentary. This is a great little light. One gun I haven't fired it on. So let's do it while we're here. This is the Glock 17. So I'm going to pop it on. It's real easy to pop on and off. Tighten it up. And that's how it fits on the 17. More flush here. 
Now you ask me, well, why don't I use this as my bedside gown? Because that, that 19 has been so freaking reliable and I sh I'm so comfortable with that gun that that is my go-to gun. So let me get some ammo. And remember guys, when I'm down here, when I'm by myself and all that, or every time I do a video down here when I have the fire on my hand, it's always unloaded. Unless I tell you it's loaded. It's always on the, I double check, triple check. Safety is a big part of uh, shooting, and especially for me. So let's bring this target back out. Now with a larger gun, say like a Glock 17, uh, there's, there's more flex, believe it or not. It's just a larger frame. So that's why sometimes people get brass to the fight face with the larger guns. Because if you don't hold this tight, you can get brass to the face. So we're going to shoot just a few rounds and make sure everything's good with this. Headshots. And everything worked out fine. That's a nice group. I'm really getting to like this uh, Lone Wolf trigger in here. So, TRL3, it's still a great light. If you find it real cheap, it's like 70 bucks. It's a good weapons light. Trust me, guys. It's plenty bright. You can see how bright this really lights up. And it really disperses the light. So it lights up a room. The beam isn't really focused on one particular area. That's what I like about this light. When you walk into a dark room with this, it really illuminates a, a big area. And it's plenty. After 25 yards, this, this light would do great. So Richie, Bullets and Broadheads at the range with the TRL3. Love this light. Remember, just test it out before you depend your life on it. I always say that with every little thing you do to your firearm. Richie, Bulletin Brothers, over and out. Take care, guys.